Bane's having some of my birthday cake. <laughs> Amazing. Although Jason Derulo really did Jordan Sparks dirty, so I don't know. He might not be invited to my male harem. Good morning, warriors. Um, so, in case you don't know by now, the last like one or two weeks have been very difficult for me um, because I've been retaining a ton of water. And in case you haven't watched my vlogs or my weigh-in that I posted today, I do think that the fact that my period has been a little out of control this past month has definitely affected my water retention. But I also realized that my dose of my inhaled steroids uh, for my asthma had been tripled because we're trying to stave off me getting bronchitis this month, which is, I normally wind up getting it in November. Um, so I'm thinking that probably has a lot to do with it and why it's being so stubborn and really my body's trying to hold on to it even though the last six days I have been doing super, super low carb. Yeah, anyways, um, so today I had just woke up and I'm having a ton of cravings and binging thoughts and thought, you know what? I'm just going to show you guys what a day in the life looks like of me trying to distract myself and using my coping skills um, in order to deal with those binge thoughts and cravings. It'll probably be mostly distraction. Um, it's really hard, especially on the weekends when I'm not at work. Like during the work week, it's super easy because you know you have back-to-back -back sessions and meetings and you don't really have time <laughs> to check in on like how you're feeling and what's going on in your mind um so on the weekends or when i'm on vacation it's a lot more difficult and i have to like make stuff up so that's what i'm going to be doing today and thought i would just show you what that looks like for me and i was just looking around like trying to find something i can clean um the fact that my mom and i completely gutted this apartment this week doesn't help things because normally i could distract myself with doing some cleaning but not today um i might wind up doing like some organizing and maybe like just some dusting or something like that but it's gonna be hard so i think i'm just gonna start my day off right and have a dance party I get a workout in first thing in the morning you guys holy cow let me just tell you what I cannot wait until I get like out of the 300s and into like the 250s and under because I love to dance but just at this weight it's just hard and I feel really limited in my movements and how fast I can move and how I can move and I just can't wait to feel a little bit freer when it comes to my dancing. So, yeah. Got to show you guys my future husbands. Yes, husbands, plural, because I'm going to be a bigamist. Just kidding, okay. Jason Derulo, Lay. Oh my gosh, Lay. Although Jason Derulo really did Jordan Sparks dirty, so I don't know. He might not be invited to my male harem. And then NCT, I want all of them, all of these boys. You see that pink hair? Yes, definitely makes dance parties a lot more fun dancing to videos with super attractive men in them. I'm not gonna lie, no shame, no blame here.
I just got done doing my morning journaling. Um, I try to answer like one question a day and do like a theme. Today's question that I tried to answer was if I gave into my cravings and or binged, um, how would it help me? Like what would the pros be? And then also like how would it hinder me or what would the cons be? And is it worth the risk? So really just trying to explore that decision. Um, I also did like a couple cognitive triangles of my thoughts and emotions and actions and what they would be before, during, and after a binge or giving into a craving. And just, again, just really trying to make sure that I'm aware of the pros and cons the positive and negative consequences if I were to do that. So, which is just something that I do with clients all the time because obviously I could still make the choice to binge or to give in to my craving, but at least it would be an informed choice. Like I wouldn't be going into it with any delusions, but I'm definitely feeling better after that journaling session. So, and I swear I need to like invest in a better journal because I've just been using a composition book the last couple months. Um, just because I had a bunch left over from when I was in my master's program that I need to use, but I really just want like a cute journal and I don't know, maybe that will be like my Christmas present to myself. So I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sit down and plan out some content for the next couple weeks. I'm really trying to make sure that if I'm doing these like daily or buy daily vlogs or whatever it winds up being, that there's something useful in each and every video. That's what I'm going to be planning out. Um, and I'm also planning on doing a video around journaling for weight loss and like some of the types of questions or themes that I have. So be expecting that coming sometime within the next couple weeks. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do next. I am going to plan out some content. Okay guys, so I think I have at least the next two to three weeks planned out. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it. I mean, I have like so many sheets on here. I've got ideas for Vlogmas. But just so you guys, you know, can know some of the stuff that I have planned. Okay, this is a very loose plan. It is subject to change. So this is not gospel. But some of the things that I have planned for this upcoming couple of weeks. Um, Obviously, this, this first thing this week will be spending the day distracting myself from cravings and binge thoughts. Um, sustainable weight loss. So talking more on the idea of like not living to lose weight, rather losing weight to live. Another one that I'm really kind of excited that I've been using the past couple weeks is we learned this new technique for basically rating emotions and thoughts. And I've been using it for not just like my binge thoughts and things like that but also for like cravings and it just kind of it's like a scaling to help you know okay this craving or this binge thought um is getting to the point where i'm like in the danger zone where i might give in and so i know that i need to do something right now to distract myself or whatever it is um, so I'm really kind of excited to kind of share that with you because it's been helping a lot, especially the last two weeks. I also have been getting a lot of questions from people asking me like, why is this weight loss journey different? So having that be a theme of one of my vlogs, um, journaling for weight loss. I think I mentioned that earlier, like some of the questions and prompts that I use to journal to support my weight loss journey. Um, I also have a video coming up where I am doing some proactive planning and adding to my individualized diet plan, specifically around the holidays. Um, but I wanted to do that one the same day that I decorate my Christmas tree. And I was supposed to decorate my Christmas tree this weekend, but the 
tree stand wasn't in the box and we can't find it and my parents went around to quite a few stores and there was no Christmas tree stands because apparently everybody's had the same idea and is putting their Christmas trees up before Thanksgiving. So my mom ordered one off Amazon but it's not going to be here until sometime between Wednesday and Friday of this upcoming week so yeah. Also have topics like all or nothing thinking and challenging thoughts. Dealing with enablers, that's one that I've gotten a lot. Um, I wanted to do a video on what loving your body should really mean, at least in my opinion. Um, I don't know, I just have some thoughts <laughs> around how it seems like loving our body has become a really shallow concept. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyways, I, I don't want to spoil that video, but I, I'm kind of uh, excited a little bit for that video. For Black Friday, I was thinking maybe doing like some of my weight loss favorites. I don't know. If you have a different idea for Black Friday, I was trying to like theme it a little bit. <laughs> um, but something that's like weight loss or health or fitness related, let me know in the comments because that was literally like the only thing that I could come up with. The other thing that I was thinking for like Cyber Monday was like a holiday weight loss gift guide based on like what I would give someone who is trying to lose weight or just get healthy in general. So that was just my thought for Cyber Monday. Also, I'm planning on doing a three month transformation video that's just like how much weight I lost in the first three months and the specific tools and strategies I used. I also am planning on doing a video talking about what is healthy weight loss, okay? You know, like fast versus slow, all of those good things. I'm doing a 32 before 32, so basically my 2021 bucket list is part of my vlogmas. You're gonna be introduced to Keston, my brother, um, cause he's actually, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is his last week of chemo coming up and he didn't wanna meet you guys until after he was done with chemo and feeling better. So I'm going to be vlogging on his birthday and I'm so excited for you guys to finally get to meet him. And something that I kinda came up with that I thought was a super cute idea for one of my vlogmas days, probably like the first week of December is, instead of doing a letter to Santa, I was thinking of doing like a letter to my 32 year old self that I would read on my birthday next year. Just kind of like my hopes and wishes for this next year. So yeah, those are just some of the ideas and things that I have coming up. Obviously I'll do my Thanksgiving workout challenge results video and that will be towards the end of the month. Um, but yeah, if there's anything else you wanna see, again, I have I have so many I freaking ideas. Like this is just Vlogmas. Ugh. Where is it? This was just November ideas, which I've crossed some off. I've got a bunch of ideas in the back of this um, notebook. Like I've got ideas coming out of my ears. But if you guys have anything that you guys want to see, please comment down below and I will add it to my list. All right guys, so I decided I'm going to organize some of my cupboards in my kitchen because they're basically full to the point where there's no room for anything anymore.
Okay, so I just got done um, organizing three of my cupboards in there that were, well, I couldn't put anything else in them and couldn't even get them to close all the way. So they're closed. They're like half empty now. I always feel so wasteful every time I organize my cupboards or like my fridge or my freezers because, you know, there's like things that you push towards the back, right? And then you just forget about them. And so by the time you finally realize they're there, they're expired and you have to throw it all away. So I don't know. I need to get better at that. I need to be more intentional. Like, I don't know, maybe have a like a grocery stock list or something on my computer that I can just refer to. I don't know, cause I did. I just felt so freaking wasteful, especially this time of year when it's cold outside and there's so many people struggling to pay their bills and to feed themselves and feed their children. And yeah, so I don't, I need to figure that out. If you have any ideas or anything that you guys do in order to make sure that you don't waste food, let me know down below. So I think I'm going to go take a little walk around our apartment complex. Well, it's Sunday and normally I would not work out today, but I may just do one of the walk away the pound videos anyways. I don't know, just to get a workout in. Maybe I'll do both. Okay, so decided that I'm going to go for a little walk around my apartment complex. Um, and then when I get back, I'll just do maybe like a 30 minute walk away the pound video. Um, I know the sun is shining, but it is super cold out here. I think when I checked the thing, it was like 40 degrees. So fun. I think I'm going to check my mail first. So have I ever mentioned how much I dislike being a female sometimes because I think I've mentioned it in a couple videos so far this past week, but I had two and a half weeks where I was bleeding and quite a few of those days, it was extremely super heavy flow. And then last Friday or technically two Fridays ago, it stopped. <laughs> um, but then the following Monday on my birthday, you know, because my uterus decided to play a cruel joke. Um, I started spotting and I've been spotting ever since. And today it's starting to get a little bit heavier and a little bit more regular, kind of like a light flow. <sighs> oh my goodness, I hate it. <laughs> I mean, part of me knows why, like, because this past month I've amped up the intensity of my workouts a little bit and for whatever reason that just seems to like rattle things around down there <laughs> and screw up my periods so you know it is what it is there's very little that we've been able to find that works um i'm not on birth control right now because i think i said on my live stream a couple days ago but oh no wrong key um my blood pressure was too high. So that's part of the reason I went on this weight loss journey. Just another of the reasons. Um, because I can't be on my... Hold on, what is that? Okay. Um, I can't be on birth control with my blood pressure as high as it was. So that's part of the reason I'm trying to lose weight. Um, so that I can get back on the birth control that was working for me before. I mean... No birth controls for me are 100% um, effective because even on birth control, I still have like spotting and things like that a lot of the times, but it definitely helps a little bit. And for me, a little bit is a lot. <laughs> so I'm hoping as I continue to lose weight and my blood pressure continues to drop, which I know it already has started, but it's still not quite where they want it to be in order to feel comfortable putting me back on birth control. I think it has something to do with like clotting or something, I don't know. I can't remember why you're not supposed to do birth control and high blood pressure at the same time. Okay, so I'm just going to walk to the end of our apartment complex and back, and then go back to my apartment and like I said earlier, probably do like a 20 to 30 minute walk away the pound video and yeah.
so I just got done doing a 30 minute walk away the pounds. Um, oh, I was like, where's my water? <laughs> I was like, I knew I had one. Um, I think I've mentioned, but my knees are super swollen and just achy from the water retention. Um, so that was not painful, but it definitely, um, was not as comfortable as it usually is doing the walkway of the pounds. So I did a 30 minute video, but honestly, I had to slow down and walk a little bit slower um, and not do as it as intense as I normally would because of my knees. And it just, it is what it is, you guys. I'm hoping when I talk to my doctor this week, hold on, I need to set you down so I can open this up. Um, I hope when I call my doctor this week that he'll tell me to like back off on the steroids or something. It's 1.30 and I normally don't go over to my family's for Sunday dinner until around like 3.34. Um, so I think I'm going to read a little bit and do some editing. Probably start editing this vlog actually and maybe I'll do like... A screen record so that you guys can kind of see what it looks like when I'm editing these uh, movies in iMovie yeah I might do that but I think I'm gonna take at least like a half hour just to relax and read a little bit Saddest sight ever, you guys. Oh my goodness. I just want to put my Christmas tree up. I can't believe it's only four o'clock and the sun is setting. So I am headed to my parents for the ultimate distraction, which is a Sunday dinner with the fam bam. We are having breakfast burritos tonight and I am definitely looking forward to that. We usually put things like eggs, cheese, hash browns, um, sometimes sausage in our breakfast burritos. I think Keston wanted bacon so I'm pretty sure she picked up some bacon to go along with it and I don't know about you guys but breakfast for dinner sounds amazing. Despite the super bad cravings and non-stop thoughts about how I want to binge on KFC and fried chicken and Papa Murphy's and Dairy Queen all at the same time, <laughs> um, today's been a really good day. It's been really productive and I feel like I've done a good job with being able to use my coping skills and distract myself, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, the rest of the evening is probably just going to be spent at my family's, eating dinner, maybe watching a movie or something. We'll see what happens. So I just realized that I wore my slippers over to my parents' house today. Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal, but is my brain even working? Is that good ice cream? Mm. <laughs> Do 
See, even Bang got some of my birthday cake. <laughs> Bang's having some of my birthday cake. <laughs> Lucy, hey, what'd you think of the movie, huh? Lucy, Lucy, oh, is she jealous? Does Rocket have food? Yes. Huh? Does Rocky have food? Okay, guys, so I just got home from my family's. It's about nine o'clock at night, um, and I think I'm going to call it for today's vlog. Um, yeah, I think I said earlier, like, I kept busy, I distracted myself, did some journaling, and I made it through another day, no giving in to my binges or anything, and I'm feeling okay, so that's all that you can ask for. As usual, if you enjoyed this vlog, let me know by subscribing and giving it a big thumbs up, and make sure to tap on that notification bell, select all, so that you can join me next time. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.